This is a cautionary tale about how we ordered sales through a reputable sale manufacturer, paid in full, and 21 months later, we still don't have any sales. We feel like we've been scammed, and what's worse is we don't feel like we have any recourse. We feel like the only thing we can do is to warn others so they don't end up in a similar situation. And hopefully this is the only video like this we ever have to make because our mission is to cultivate curiosity through adventure and exploration. But today we're sharing this story as a cautionary tale. In January of 2020, we received a quote from One Sail South Africa for a new mainsail, Genoa and trampolines. The quotes looked good and they agreed that we could pick up the sails and take a tour of the loft in South Africa. So a few days later, the invoice was paid and our correspondence was with a guy named Craig Middleton. Now, why South Africa? Because, well, we already had a trip booked to go visit our friends Kate and Rufus and take a tour of where our boat was built 16 years ago. March 12th, 2020. This is the day that we were supposed to meet Craig in Cape Town to pick up our sails and take a tour of the loft. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a hold of Craig on this day or the days leading up to it. So we boarded our flight empty handed. Several days later, he did finally reach out saying that he was sorry he had missed us. The sales weren't actually ready yet, but they would be ready in another week and he could ship them out. March 24th, 2020. We were informed because of COVID shipping to Tonga from South Africa wasn't possible at the moment. So we stayed in touch over the following months, exchanging lots of emails back and forth, trying to sort out a shipping plan with no real luck. But everything was a mess because of COVID, so we were understanding and patient. February 1st, 2021. We now have a new person by the name of Jan Rivers who is copied in on our emails with Craig trying to sort out a shipping plan. March 4th, 2021. We finally receive an email saying they can ship to Tonga and they sent an invoice for the shipping. And we said, hold off on shipping to Tonga because actually we're gonna sail to New Zealand and we'll pick the sails up there. March 10th, 2021. We decided to add a stack pack to the order because well, ours is hanging on by a thread. May 8th, 2021. Belinda Rivers is now copied in on our emails and becomes our main contact for sorting out shipping. August 11th, 2021. Receive the final invoice for the addition of the stack pack and for the shipping of all sales. August 23rd, 2021, we wired the payment. August 24th, 2021, we receive an email from Belinda saying that all payments have been received and that was the last we ever heard from them. No sales have ever been shipped, no more communications, nothing. We have tried relentlessly to get a hold of anybody at the sale makers, Craig, Jan, Belinda, to get them to please deliver our sales or return our money with absolutely no response whatsoever. Now we ordered through One Sales South Africa and One Sales is a global company with lofts all over the world and headquarters in Italy. So after our failed attempts, we reached out to headquarters to let them know what had happened and ask them for help. And after a couple of Instagram messages and emails later, they finally sent this response. Dear Mr. Wen, our relation with the company, The Sailmakers, has been interrupted during spring 2020, and we are now in the court because they didn't pay their owing. We're very sorry about the situation, and we're looking to see if there's anything that we can do in order to help you. But unfortunately, they've been acting under the One Sales brand in a fraudulent way. In any case, our lawyer is suggesting to prosecute them. We'll let you know if we can be more helpful. We'll let you know if we can be more helpful. That left us feeling abandoned. We're out a substantial amount of money and no sales. And this is just the short version of the story because it doesn't stop there. We continued to reach out to all of our contacts in South Africa to see if anybody could go buy the loft, see if anyone was there, are our sales sitting there? Anything to figure out what is going on with these sale makers, which has led us down a rabbit hole of conversations, research, and reading through court documents. Turns out Craig, Jan, and Belinda have operated under numerous company names. They're being sued by Almond Sales and now One Sales, according to the response that we got from them. And we found one case with Quantum Sales that was well documented and revealed some interesting tidbits. Quantum and JRS, through its owner, Yanni Rivers, began doing business together in 1995 when Quantum was located in Maryland. 
By 1998, JRS had become Quantum's exclusive sale manufacturer, but the parties did not have a formal written agreement. JRS paid Quantum a 3% royalty for sales it sold bearing the Quantum logo. The 2005 agreement was only a license for the distribution and sale of sales to the public. JRS was authorized to continue manufacturing, delivering, and selling sales to JRS's present OEM customers outside of JRS's local marketing area and to solicit and sell sales outside of its local marketing area, provided that JRS would only make sales within another licensee's local market area pursuant to an agreement with the other licensee. In 2008 and 9, Quantum decided to change its business model. In other words, we have no idea what the licensing agreements between these global brands and the individual sale makers are. Because even in this one case, which I will link to below if you want to give it a read, the agreement changes a lot, which means from one year to the next, their relationship could be very different, which opens up a whole bunch of questions like, am I buying a brand, a design, the backing of a larger company who's liable? And how am I, the customer, supposed to understand any of this? Everyone we've shared this story with has been shocked and they immediately ask, what's the takeaway guys? How do I keep this from happening to me? And the answer is, I don't really know. I mean, we ordered through a reputable sale manufacturer, got a quote, an invoice, we paid and 21 months later, we don't have any sales. So we feel like we've been scammed and the sale makers, Craig, Jan and Belinda have stolen our money. And the worst part of all is, there's no recourse. I mean, sure, we could take them to court in South Africa, but that's just going to cost us a lot more money. So this video is our buyer beware statement. <laughs>